And do stay with us next on Arizona Midday. Board games are fun, but they can also teach life lessons. Advice on how to teach kids about money. That's next. Welcome back. You know, times are tough on most of us these days. Many families are really overlooking, though, saving plans. But one of the best gifts that we can give our children is the gift of financial education. And who better to give financial advice than grandparents who have seen it and done it all? The author of the book, It's Likely Your Grandkids Will Be Poor Unless, Chris Kulpinski, joins us now with more. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for inviting me, Jesse. Good to I meet appreciate you. being here. All right, now, first of all, let's talk about why grandparents and parents should be concerned about their child's financial future. That's right. There's only one big reason. You love the kids. Absolutely. Okay. So with your experience, you know what's happening in the economic world today, the globalization, but the kids don't. And it's going to come upon them so rapidly that unless you help guide them, they're going to be in some financial trouble. When is a good time to start talking to your kids and your grandkids about money? By the time they're in school, you should be talking to them. That because early? Because they're sponges. They're sponges. You know that. They can listen. And if you make it fun, because all kids do well at things that are fun, and they've got to be challenging. Yeah, so let's, if you, yeah, let's talk about that. Because, I mean, you don't want to bring it up, all right, son, sit no. down, and let's talk about your financial future. I mean, how, how should we kind of start that up? You're absolutely correct. And to make this work, what you do is get the parents involved. And you're both on the same page. And I find from friends of mine who have done this, is they've taken the book that you see, mm -hmm. and they've read it, and then they go to their kids and say, Destry, I just read this thing. There's some very good stuff in here that I would like to help you with. If we're on the same page, we can get this thing done. So you start with the parents. With the parents, the parents and they get involved. With the parents. You got to get them involved. You have to. You don't want to step on their prerogatives. Right. And then the parents start by getting the kids involved in conversation at the dinner table about finances. And then you talk. So you're talking about your finances. That's, That's right. One step in the financial. The education. most important thing you can teach those kids is the understanding of cash flow. Cash flow, for those people who may not have the same understanding as I do, is how much you make and how much you spend. If you spend less than what you make, you have a positive cash flow. If you spend more than you make, you have a negative cash flow. And then you can take the, they can understand that. My mm -hmm. eight-year-old, my grandson oh, understands sure. it. And you can take that understanding into like, hey, mom, can I get this? You say, Hey, you know what? That doesn't fit into our budget. Doesn't fit into our cash flow stream. They begin to understand. If that. you start talking to them about that, right? Now, what about um, like getting them motivated and getting them involved with saving and investing? Well, there's a difference in savings between savings and investing. People save for a goal. You save to buy a car, go on vacation, even buy an iPod, but you invest for the future because. Your money for investment is used to make more money. Okay. Savings are used to spend. Investments are to create more money. And you also have some games here. And you say play games with your this, kids. This is a game that, that I recommend. It's, it's produced by Rich Dad. You can get it at richdad.com. Uh, it's a tool for teaching cash flow and giving right. the kids the basic understanding of what finances are. Eight-year-olds can play this game. Excellent. Now, where can we get your book? The book can be gotten at Changing Hands Bookstore here in the Valley. It can be gotten at Amazon, and it could be gotten at my website, which is www.grandkids.com. Okay, terrific. And we have it all right on your screen right now. That's moneysmartgrandkids.com, and there's the book. It's likely your mm -hmm. grandkids will be poor unless. All right, thanks so much for being here again. I appreciate you inviting me.